We're back here on the scene. It was indeed a very controversial result. 115-113 split decision in favor of Bradley. How could this have happened? A lot of Filipinos are probably thinking the same thing. We've brought in experts who are going to give their take on what happened during the fight and of course, reactions from our fellow Filipinos who have seen it live in Vegas. right now are two of our esteemed panelists who are going to talk to us about the very controversial results during the Pacquiao Bradley welterweight championship fight last Saturday in Las Vegas. On my left is Mr. Art Garcia. He is a Filipino American community leader and a boxing aficionado. And of course Mr. Sid Balatan, a GMA7 correspondent and editor of the Tribune USA. Welcome sir. Hello. Thank you for Thank you joining for us. Inviting us. So um, before we actually get to our commentaries, uh, can you please give us a recap and a commentary about the fight itself? Maybe a round by round uh, comment on what happened during that fight last Saturday. I can say the fight goes uh, like this. From the first to the third round, uh, the two fighters were sizing each other up and they gave uh, they give, uh, good blows to each other. And Pacquiao landed uh, good blows to Bradley. From the third to the sixth round, Pacquiao dominated, where he almost uh, knocked out uh, Bradley, and everybody can see it. Everybody yes. was cheering when we were, when we were uh, viewing, in a community viewing the, the fight. Everybody was cheer cheering, and then they were saying, uh, Bradley, you must go down now. Yes. <laughs> so that was uh, up to the sixth round. But from the seventh to the twelfth round, uh, Pacquiao did everything to knock out uh, Bradley and he was trying, especially during the last 50 to 60 seconds of each round. Uh, but I think on the 10th round, uh, Bradley dominated. So that's how the fight goes. Mm -hmm. So do you think uh, there was a point at all or during the fight that Bradley might have, might have had a bigger advantage on Pacquiao? No, because Pacquiao. Uh, basically, Oh, what, what OI people are laughing at it is because uh, uh, Bradley went out of the MGM hotel in an ambulance and then he gave a press conference in a wheelchair. So it's not the uh, kind of winner we will have. Yes. Uh, some some uh, people give uh, Bradley the last quarter, the last three rounds, but uh, by the time uh, Pacquiao was already uh, way, way ahead. And he had done a lot to get the fight, or to win the fight, and the last rally of uh, Bradley is already uh, is not enough. Um, we all know about how Pacquiao is as a fighter. Um, can, can you please tell us more about who Bradley is and how is he as a fighter, especially for this particular uh, fight? Uh, Bradley is a strong fighter, but he has no knockout punch. That is basically the criticism of him. But he stood. Uh, he was able to withstood 12 rounds. That is a that is a uh, a good thing that uh, we can say about him. But all throughout the fight, he was ducking. He was leaning on Pacquiao. He was embracing Pacquiao, and that is not uh, the way a good fighter does. And especially during the last round, uh, during the last six rounds, when he was almost knocked out, mm -hmm. he was clearly evading Pacquiao. So do you, so you you think Pacquiao was really gunning for a knockout in the entire twelve rounds that he was fighting? Or yeah, that was the uh, promise that was given to us by uh, Rhodes and by Pac Pacman himself. But you know, Pacman he, he was always telling that I will try it, I try my best. But uh, Rhodes is more uh, direct that uh, Bradley will be knocked out uh, on this fight. So. Uh, yeah, they, 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 their game plan is to knock up Bradley because they have to do that in the context that they have uh, is a slim margin on their uh, fight with uh, Marquez, so they have to prove something. That's right. So, um, well, Bradley was known to for his accidental headbutts, and uh, and there's even like a whole joke going around that 
you know, at some point he will always try to headbutt uh, Pacquiao accidentally, and that would cause his, I don't know, demise or, or, or Pacquiao's. Um, did you think it affected? Did it, did it affect Manny at all? Was he thinking about that, was it, or was it like his plan of strategy and and going towards this? this I mean, going against Bradley. Actually, uh, Pacquiao did a good defense on headbutt. And he actually headbutted the Bradley. <laughs> Remember? He accidentally, and he was warned by the, uh, so warned by the yes, referee. Yes, yes. But you can see, he, he, was, he was very good in, in defense against that, but, and it was, but it was uh, Bradley's ducking, leaning on Pacquiao, and evading. That, uh, that, that's the way he evaded to be knocked out. How, how, let's talk about how Manny was. I mean, how, what is Manny's... Um, demeanor in, in, in this fight. I mean, you before the before we started, you were talking about how Bradley has the killer instinct, and mm -hmm. and that's very very important for a fighter. Yeah, Did, I always size up a boxer uh, with uh, something like if he has a killer instinct or not. And the killer instinct usually comes from when you're still uh, aspiring for fame, aspiring for big money, when you're still down there. And you have to uh, win like, a championship fight. That's the killer instinct that you come, comes from. So, with that killer instinct uh, uh, thing with money, money is uh, lesser on that killer instinct compared to Bradley now. Mm -hmm. Bradley wants to, you know, the first person to defeat uh, the uh, yeah. king of uh, pound for pound yeah, in boxing. Hungry. Yeah. So that's uh, I think in that uh, uh, department. I think between the two. Bradley has um, uh, more the killer instinct. Um, is well, we've seen Manny p fight, and lately he's been fighting. He fights through the twelve rounds. Um, but you said that there was that he has two or three punches. That that is already supposed to be a knockout punch, and Bradley took it. He was able to withstand. Yeah, and he, with that we should uh, also credit uh, Bradley with his age, and uh, Bradley's young. And uh, when you're young, you own the world, you're invincible. I think when uh, uh, he, when uh, Pac-Man uh, threw those punches, it should have been knocked out some other person. But uh, uh, in fairness, uh, with Bradley, he was able to absorb it. But he almost, uh, he almost fell. He almost fell, yeah. At round four, I saw he, he was he, he fell off balance. Wobbling. He was wobbling. That's how, how he injured his ankle. And I I was also watching, and there was an uproar. Everybody stood up and like was cheering for Pacquiao. We thought that he was going to be going down already at that time. Yeah, and many people said during that particular uh, time, uh, Manny should have done more punches on that. But uh, you know when uh, because they said. The, he does not. Have, he's not a Christian. <laughs> he does not want to hurt uh, people. And he have done that so many times. Even with, uh, I think with Cotto. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, there are times in, in the last rounds with um, and Margarito. And he just you know yeah, he, he can have uh, knock them down, but he le leave them. Yeah, he's just coasting along. But yeah. I have seen Pacquiao fight. That's why the first time I saw Pacquiao fight in Las Vegas, he was all bloody. But he kept on fighting, and that's a characteristic of a Filipino. But lalong nasusugatan, lalong tumatap. Yes. But as a, as said, as said, as said, as said, as said, he might have lost his killer instinct. Because when he was an amateur, he always goes to the kill. But, and the more he tried to go for the killer punch, the more he get away. Because, uh, you know, sometimes if you really something that is very hard and goes to the air, it's really hard to come back. That's why he, he should have really focus on how to knock, uh, knock him out. So, do you think, sir? I mean, now that we're now that we're discussing this, that is it? Could that have been one of the reasons why the judges went for back for Bradley? They wanted to teach Manny a lesson that you yeah. should be more aggressive. You should be yeah. more of a killer instinct fighter than. That's how, how uh, Dwayne, they want to revive that yeah, old Pacquiao. That's how uh, Dwayne uh, Ford uh, defended his uh, decision. Because according to him, he saw so many missed punches, wild punches from Pacquiao. So according to him, he wants to teach uh, Pacman a lesson. So he gave the rounds uh, to, majority of the rounds to Bradley. And that's a little bit, uh, uh, you know, awkward way to judge uh, a fight. Yeah. 
Yes. You should not uh, you should justify it by on how many punches that landed, mm -hmm. power and jabs, yeah. and not how many misses and wild punches. Mm -hmm. And and the stats alone speak yeah. for itself. Yeah, Pacquiao was able to hit uh, Bradley for more than 250 times, and Bradley was only able to come up with the 157 hits. Yes. So how can you explain that? And the quality uh, of punches alone that yeah. landed. Is <laughs> I and think why it should you? Uh, the question is, uh, why should your standards you should be on the missed punches? Uh, let's change the standards. Mm -hmm. And the judges have more to explain to the to the crowd and to the paying public because, uh, uh, as I see it, we were robbed mm -hmm. of the victory that we really that Pacquiao really owned.